Have you ever been swinging through the city and the lighting in that street is just so perfect that you need to capture that moment in photo mode? But no matter how hard you try, you can never manage to get that perfect pose in that perfect angle of the lighting, which was the reason the photo was worth taking in the first place. Yeah, that was me like at least a hundred times. Well, Insomniac has the fix for this themselves. In Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, which is another PS5 exclusive game created by Insomniac, they have this option where you can select different character poses. This will eliminate the struggle of attempting to recreate these specific poses ourselves. And since Insomniac is working on both Marvel Spider-Man 2 and Ratchet and Clank, and the fact that we already have preset poses appearing as loading screens, there is no reason as to why they shouldn't just import this over to be a feature in the photo mode of the new game. This is also the same situation with choosing facial expressions in Ratchet and Clank, so in Marvel Spider-Man 2 we can possibly change the expression of the mechanical lenses and with the black suit we can even change the symbiote eyes too. There are more features like this that the photo mode in Marvel Spider-Man 2 needs and this video is my wish list of exactly what I would like to see added to it. Okay, we got a few photo mode options potentially confirmed by the story trailer too. Because if you look at this frame here from the story trailer, it was the same one released before the trailer itself and comparing these two images alone gets us so much more confirmed. Firstly, to confirm that it is indeed a photo from photo mode, if you look at Venom's arm, you can see the difference in lighting due to more being added in the lighting mode. So comparing the two images, we can potentially control the amount of weather in the game itself. We can also apparently change the angle in the cutscene itself as we have two different sets of details in both frames, as well as the option to control the colours and lighting furthermore in photo mode, which these things are possible to do externally and it's about time we get these controls in the game itself. As the only way we can really change the colour of the photo mode right now is through lighting or filters, which just doesn't give us enough control compared to having a dedicated tint, temperature, saturation and vibrancy sliders to adjust ourselves. So I would like to see a dedicated tab for this in the camera mode giving us a further control as well as possibly being able to change the colours of the characters and the background separately. We can already swap between suits in the photo mode and toggle hero and enemy visibility indicating the game does acknowledge that these two are separate entities so being able to control the lighting and colour separately for the hero and then for the background can unlock more potential for unique stylized photos. It also looks like in this photo that there are now water splashes on the screen itself. Again, could have been added on external software, but it would be great to add this ourselves in game as well as an option to control the amount too. And speaking of more control, we already have the option to change the location of the sun or moon in photo mode for a variety of stunning photo opportunities, which still blows my mind to this day that we can even do this in the game. But since we can control the intensity of natural light, I would also love this feature to be possible for artificial lighting in the game and I'm not talking about the artificial lighting we can place manually I'm talking about having the ability to control the lighting that already exists in the composition and another feature we have in Ratchet and Clank photo mode is that there is a live animation for particles in the game such as confetti and lighting and other stuff so it will be really great to see this in Marvel Spider-Man 2 and being able to see the smoke rain lights and electricity move in the photo mode giving us more possibilities to pause at the right frame that we need for the photo and speaking of the character poses I mentioned earlier we also also need this translated to both Spider-Men in the game. We are going to get to play it as both Miles Morales and Peter Parker, so when fighting and swinging together, it's going to be vital for photo mode to look cool too. So maybe being able to choose preset duo poses as well should be an amazing addition. Okay, so for a smaller but very important feature, Insomniac, please, 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 I beg you to add grid lines to photo mode. Any photographer knows the importance these have for the composition of photos, and it's just so annoying that this game doesn't have it. And also, please allow us to go closer to the character. In the current game, if you get too close to the hero, it will just disappear. But it's got to be possible with the PS5 to allow us to get much closer, right? Imagine all the macro photos that are possible with getting this close to the character. And not even macro, but I can recall many times where the photo would look much better if I positioned the camera down Spider-Man's arm looking up at the face, but I just can't because it is impossible because you can't get that close without the character disappearing. If you agree with any of these photo mode changes that I would like made then give the video a like, subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one and I shall see you guys in the next one.